Okay, this diagram shows a fair right. Um, if they're going around a circle and um, uh, the center of the circle is over here. Okay, a lot of people think that where the rope is attached, which is obviously right here, is where um, the center of the circle is, but no, it's over uh, here, which is why we're given this radius R over here. Okay, so we need to find the force, right? Uh, the forces on the on the people. So this is the people here, M, um, and the forces on them, obviously gra gravity, which is the weight towards the center of the planet, um, downwards, and then the second force on them is the tension in the rope, which is acting always along the rope itself. Okay, tension, mg. So we need to find the force toward the center of the circle, the component of the force toward the center of the circle. So we want this component here, and that's provided by the tension in the force. Um, the tension is creating component toward the center. Um, so we need to find uh, this length over here. Okay. So to find that length, we need we know that this angle here is theta and the opposite of the angle is this gives us the force that we're interested in so we'll have to use sine so we'll have to use tension sine theta is going to give us the force towards center of the circle which is the centripetal force which is m v squared over r okay now the other component is uh, of the tension is th this component here okay now that's for the for them to go in a circle and without moving up or down without being lifted up vertically or, or falling down vertically this component which is obviously t cosine theta t cosine theta must be balanced by the weight Otherwise, the person would either accelerate up or down. He's not accelerating up or down. He's just accelerating towards the center circle because that's what happens in circular motion. Now, how to deal with this, these situations there? Because we're trying to show this over here. How do we get tan theta? So this is where you have to recall your maths. For maths, the identity is tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. So what we can do is we can do equation one here divided by equation two here. So we divide these equations from one another. So you get t sine theta over t cos theta equals mv squared over r over mg. Okay, the t's cancel out and that becomes tan theta. The m's cancel out and we get v squared over rg. And this will help us figure out um, the theta. Uh, if we're given the velocity radius and uh, gravitational field strength. Uh, once we've got the uh, theta, we can put it back into one of these equations, one or two, to find tension.